I'm Victoria Thomas. I'm the owner of Journey Fit. And I want to tell you a little bit about Journey Fit. Journey Fit is my baby. Most people know me as the recovering lawyer, Victoria Thomas. And now I am the gym owner, Victoria Thomas. Leaving my path as becoming this great lawyer to wanting to do this was nothing but purpose and nothing but God. I'm just super excited every single day to be able to do what I love. Journey Fit is a vibe, like it's a feeling, it's purpose, it is specific, like it's intentional. We want to make sure that people that come in here, they do not leave the same way. We have so many people that we've affected. And I think that it's important that me as a trainer, that I'm not just here to give them a workout. I wanna change you mentally. I want to get you to the point to where you have so much confidence that you can go after that dream. I want to impact your life in other areas. It's very little about the workout with me. I really enjoy doing this. You know, this is my God-given purpose. Even in the times when I used to doubt myself and when I was scared to pull away from being this great lawyer and thinking about student loan debt and thinking about my family members, what they were gonna say about me. At the end of the day, God has just made such a way uh, where you know we started this dream by having just a couple of people and now we're busting out the seams. And I just feel like whenever you're embedded in your purpose, God is gonna make sure that he opens up the door for you to be able to expand. I wanted to start this series where I could really just you know, showcase all the members of Journey Fit, what our members are about, what Journey Fit is about. It's a safe place, it's a sanctuary for most people. Most people have gone through such a hard week and they just look forward to coming here. This series is dedicated to that. In this three month time span, I wanna show you two people that just have these crazy backstories where they might have been in a place of depression or they might have gone through some struggle and triumph and how Journey Fit impacted their life. I chose Candace and Shaniqua. They both have very different backgrounds and I want you guys to hear a little bit about them. My name is Candace Mendoza. I travel from Waco, Texas three times a week to train with Victoria. Um, it is a little bit of a hassle to drive back and forth, um, but through my workouts, I've found that it is worth it um, due to me seeing myself get stronger each time. Two years ago, I was in a car accident, a very serious car accident. I was uh, hit by an 18-wheeler in which my car rolled over three times. I had um, very serious injuries to my neck and my back, which caused me to not be able to work out physically for two years. In those two years, I've gained over 50 pounds. Gaining that 50 pounds put me in a depressive state in which I finally decided that I wanted to get back to feeling myself, so I joined the gym. Um, I knew of Journey Fit through a friend, and um, since coming here, I've felt that this is where I need to be. This has been helping me. Um, also want to inspire others to um, get fit and know that regardless of your injuries or any kind of mental state, you can do it. My name is Shaniqua Caldwell. Journey Fit is wonderful, but they get on my nerves. They are crazy. They work the hell out of us. I love it because it's like a group of women coming together. They all got the same goal. Nobody's judging nobody because I'm like one of the thickest ones in the group and I can't do all they do. They athletes, I'm not. So today is the memorial of my child's father. He was killed um, a year ago. Actually, last Sunday made the year, but today is a memorial for him because his birthday is on the 10th of April. Um, it's very hard. Because I'm a single mother. I never imagined being a single mother. So to be a single mother is one thing, but to tell your three-year-old child your father is gone, they don't understand it. For your daughter to be like, I want my daddy, I want my daddy, I want my daddy, and all you can say is, he's your angel. What else can you say to a three-year-old? You have to act like he's here. And I tell anybody, to be a single mother is one thing, but to lose a parent, to get a call and say he got killed in a car accident, that ain't easy. I was depressed as beyond. I was at a dark place, like, when I never thought about suicide until then. Like, I was like, I don't need to be here, but the only thing kept me going was my baby. So I would never forget my friends told me, you need to get back to working out. You need to go back to fitness. And I'm like, well, I don't know nowhere. So I remember seeing Victoria on Instagram, and I was like, I'm inboxing. She's like, well, come on in. I didn't ever tell her what I've been through. So to come to the gym, she didn't know what I've been through, meant a lot to me. Because when that doctor tells you in your face, either you're going to have to get on some medication, 
or you're going to go crazy. And I said, well, let me figure this out myself. Let me see what I can do to get my anxiety down. Because it was as nice. I didn't sleep. I didn't sleep. I wasn't eating. I was just down. So to start coming to a gym, none of these women knew nothing about me. Nothing, none of them knew what I was going through. They didn't know what I was dealing with inside. So to come here, all that positivity, it just brought for me hope. It brought, like, you're going to be all right, Shanique. It's a group of people here. And when I finally shared my story for them, it meant a lot to me. But to say I can finally sleep at night, my anxiety went down. I, ain't, I can't say I'm not depressed. I be lying. But I can say it's, it's like 80% better. Because no matter how I'm feeling, when I come to this gym, I just be like a spurt, you know. It, it just brings happiness to me. So I'm very thankful to find this gym of positive people. So as you can see with those stories, we are most impactful when you're down, when you don't wanna work out anymore, when you don't wanna eat healthy anymore. And I think that Candace and Shaniqua both felt like that at a specific time when I came on to help them with their fitness journey. This three months transformation is definitely dedicated to them seeing the best results, getting to their goals for them to be at their greatest. So in the gym, like I'm loud, I'm obnoxious. Like, you know, if you mad, you gonna get madder. <laughs> I just feel like, you know, some people really feed off my energy and I think that that's important because you want an energetic trainer, you know, because at the end of the day, people have trainers because they need accountability. I can give you a workout plan, you can go do it on your own, but are you gonna do it to the effect that you would do it if I was standing and yelling at you? That's a totally different ball game. So Journey Fit is here to be your accountability partner. When you don't wanna push, we're gonna help you push that extra mile and I'm gonna be right there in your face, right by your side. <laughs>